In our previous videos, already we have discussed about the Azure services and Azure products. Now here in this particular video, we are going to see how we can enable a protection that is your ID protection of your identity which we have created by using your Azure Active Directory. So for using this particular feature and enabling this feature, let us move towards our portal here. So for Active Directory ID protection, generally we have one package generally which we can get into your uh, networks and security into your Azure Marketplace or you can scroll down over here go into an option of uh, security and identity so this is your security and identity option generally you have and into the security and identity generally you need to go for your ID protection so uh, I'll go into your Azure ID protection so this is the way this you need to install then only you will be able to get the protections or you know you need you will be getting the uh, securities into your Active Directory users. So this is what exactly you get generally once you are doing it for the first time you will be asked to create an account and you need to create this identity protections then it will start protecting your system. So here you can see these are the users flagged for risk, risk events. So this will providing you the uh, information about it. It will provide you like how you can define this particular policies. So to create this kind of policy to provide this securities, what we can do, we can go into your Active Directory. Active Directory. So into your Azure Active Directory, um, once you scroll down from your left hand side panel you again find a security option so in security you generally have conditional access then you have user flag for risk and risky signage this conditional access is kind of uh, you know those kind of protections which you can create for a particular user where generally you can define the policies for a user so right now well, there is one policy created I again want to create a policy for my users so we have users like your user one and I have one group just I'll show you that first so we have created this users if you remember into our uh, active directory videos so um, all users I'm going to show you so these are the three users I have and I have one group called as group one okay so I want to set the policy for my user user one here so we can set the policies by using security access control or conditional access so we will provide a user to access any of your applications but I'm going to define conditions for it so the conditions what you can define is like you know the platform so we can fix a platform for a particular user like I'm sharing the application which can be accessible through all the platforms but I'm going to restrict my user so that he'll be able to get access to a certain platform which I'm going to define like for example Android or Windows or any other like Mac so uh, that condition I'm going to define here for my application for a certain user also you can define or for a group so here I'm going to show you how you can assign that policy so very first I'm going to assign a new policy here policy 2 I'm going to add the user here uh, if you want to add all the users you can or you can select it users you can select your user which you require to be added so I can uh, and so search for my user right now it is collecting all the users so you can find here this is the user I want and this is the group I want to add select the users and group on which you want to assign the policy and which cloud application do you want to you know use so none or you want to go for all applications you can go for all or you can select the applications manually so here I'm going to select my applications manually select the applications which you have that is your cloud-based applications or if you uh, know already a cloud-based application you can even search for it right now I'm going to use my VPN server and select it and go for creating it so I've created it and one more thing uh, you might have seen over here while I was adding there is a tab called as exclude 
So this exclude can be used if suppose you are adding a group of user and here we have added a group called as a group one same way here you are adding a group of you know applications so you can exclude any certain applications from here so that won't be you know applied on that particular application so if you have selected four applications one you can exclude from here same way into our users and groups also we have seen into our users and groups we also have an option exclude now here we have added a group group one and uh, or user one I'm going to check it out okay so I have added the user one and the group one so your group one might be containing 10 users 15 users 50 users or 100 of users and I want some users to exclude from this group for this particular operation where I'm going to define the policies so I don't want two users should be able to get access to this particular policy so we can define the name of the users who are into this group as of now I have only one user that is user one and I don't want to exclude that user click on done once you have done we have also selected the application here we can define the condition now condition sign in risk here we can define whether you want to uh, define such policies and you want to configure here so you can configure and you can select the sign in risk level policy where you want to apply so I'm just going to apply a medium policy for my sign in risk same way you can also define the device platform so um, you can define which platform do you want so if you want to configure you need to press yes then only you will be able to so I'm um, just enabling or um, your yes here and all platforms or a selected platform so I want you know it's um, you know the user can be able to log in and get access to my systems through your only Windows phone not even your Windows machine not even your Android applications or Android operating system not even iOS so only Windows iPhone and then select the location from where you want your user to be accessible or from where you can uh, you, you want your users to access your application so you can even restrict that uh, so for that we generally need to add a trusted location or you can select any location or you can select the location from your preview which are the locations available so right now I have uh, two locations my MFA trusted IP addresses and my Mumbai office so I want that um, the user from group one and your user one should be able to get login only from my Mumbai office that too from Windows phone okay and then the client applications if I want to configure uh, the authentication authentications uh, which is actually to be used for your client from where you will be able to access the applications from the client you can also allow this so the client can use your browser or your mobile application so if you don't want your user to use mobile application and desktop clients you can disable it so I just want they will be able to use through your browser done done now we have selected the conditions we have selected but what we have selected like windows phone we want to enable users to access to window phone or we want to disable it just we have defined the criteria right so here we have defined like the user should be able to get access to your windows ip phone but i haven't defined the policy whether it is a, a you know allow policy or restrict so here we have just created a criteria so what I want to do allow or deny that I will be doing from here so I want to grant access so I'll be defining grant access and if you're using a grant access so that uh, if you want to define more policies more controls you can define the controls from here I want the device to be marked as a compliant and uh, require multi-factor authentication if you or you can require a domain joint hybrid Azure itself then only they will be able to and for multiple controls you can select all the controls or you can select the required one for the selected controls you have and going to select yes done the sessions if you require generally we don't require any sessions so if you have created a session you can limit the sessions for a particular user so that he will be able to access your applications and the number of sessions he can connect at a time so I don't want to do it and here is the main part you need to enable the policy if you forget to enable the policy you will be creating a policy but it won't be applied to your group and users and once we have created it and I'm going to create a tab here 
this is the button will be uh, enabling your policy it will be creating the policy so this policy we have created okay so it is enabled now same way uh, we also have some different policies security settings which is your user flagged for risk and risky signs this two policy will only be accessible into your id protection so i'm going to create my users flagged for risk so here i'm going to click and you can see there is at present no items found so there is no user who has flagged for any risk here and um, you can also create a risk policy for automatic uh, immigration so you can also create here I'm going to create a policy for my user user one or all users you want to then you can create all users as of now I'm going to take all users conditions we can define for your risk level again we can define medium to above select the risk level of your user signing in control again I'm going to define if they are into your media risk whether I want to allow them or block them I want to block them select it and the number of impacts generally I uh, want so I can even you know op visualize the impact of the current policy configuration so this is a uh, zero users are challenged and zeros are blocked so as of now we haven't did anything so this is the re uh, remedy policy we are creating if suppose this is a zero to uh, five so what should happen so this is a remedy policy we have created for our user risk okay and then we can find this uh, risk signings so again we can also create the risk I signings policies where generally we can add a known IP address range for the users who are going to access to our system so I can define the location very first the location we can define so right now I have already added the location if you want to see how we can add the location so that is over here add a new location I'm going to add my Bangalore office okay and I'm going to define the range of my IP address that will start from 0, .0 and uh, I want to define the sorry CIDR that is 24 and create it once you have done with it your location will be created that is Bangalore and then you can use this particular location right so you can also define the known IP addresses for this particular policies if you want to download and check this particular list you can download the file and check for your risk signings so it will create a report of the signings which you have created which you can audit into your logs you can audit this particular log from when we have created this policy and how many you know logs have been created you can see updating principle adding application role assessment grant so everything will be logged over here same way we can also open your um, Active Directory Identity Protection Manager where we can start it with Azure AD ID Protection the while we'll start from here itself Identity Protection okay so you can see it will show you all the diagrams on all the particular graph view of what is happening into backend it will create a log it will analyze everything and also you if you can see it is showing you identify users who are assigned to permanent admin role so you can also check for your permanent admin role of the users we have assigned like we have created a user called as user one who has this particular role so we can also add this particular user we can check who is having the complete admin role so that it is useful for you like you know if you have granted a permission to a particular user who is getting your complete access to your as your uh, active directory has and for example we forgot that particular user to remove it from my active directory so we can remove it so this is the user who is getting my active directory role we can set it up now for accessing our complete access so here you can see it is showing you the additional security verification you can define you can verify whether the user is accessible to your uh, active directory or not so this is the complete uh, you know information it will provide you this is a user who is getting the complete active directory access of your computer so we have seen into our previous video how we can add a role 
and how we can deploy the permission to all complete access the user one was you know the local administrator we can also provide a global administrator role to a particular user and we can define the user and we can provide a sign in to this particular user so that he will be able to get access to our account and uh, a single sign in account we can provide that same way again if i move back to your azure id adid protection so i'll just add it into my dashboard so that every time i don't have to search for it okay so this is the risk level it will find out the risk level we have the number of counts we have each and every vulnerabilities which is actually connecting to your system or you know moving into your system you will be able to get the complete report of it over here so this is what exactly we have we can configure directly from here the risk policies for your users we can also create a sign in risk policies from here we can create the policies for them and we can save this particular policies from directly your active directory id protections right so this was about your id protections we generally do from your active directory into next video i'm going to show up your mfa authentication how we can enable it into next coming video